Why'd you stop it? I stopped recording it. But why? Because it has been taking too long. Where'd you get that hat? This one, dog? That no, one? I've seen that one. I ain't seen that one. That's all right. You ain't seen that one. I, we just don't know which one you're talking about. I don't know which one you're talking about. Who am I pointing at? Andrew. Andrew. I've seen, I got a ton of those hats. I'm at the TH Marine hat. You got to know somebody that knows somebody. That's true. Yeah, I hadn't I, seen the hat either. It's got green on it. I thought I knew the guy. Nope. I know the guy. All right, let's. Just a little. Wait, don't make it too tall. I'm not that tall. I think it is. All right. All right, let me shut the door. It, no, the reflection is the, the, I know, but it's really the, the Christmas lights outside. What's that yeah. blue stuff in the background? Christmas lights. Okay. That's Christmas lights. It's like some trees outside. For the pool? No. No, we're on the other end of the house. <laughs> Dude, seriously. <laughs> I ain't said a word. <laughs> Just celebrate Jesus' birthday outside my Yeah, why, why are you making fun of Chill celebrating Jesus' birthday? Mm. We're having a banquet here. See, we've got the banquet beer. Yep. We're having a banquet. Andrew's here for New Year's Eve. Coming to you live for New Year's Eve, the best we can do, having the banquet. I'm sure you're having a nice, fine glass of TX whiskey. Um, the man, the man, the myth, the legend might show up. Who is the TX whiskey man? Oh, that's cool. It, it, here's how bad it was. He brought he brought something over, and he goes, "Hey, I brought some stuff over. It's in the bottle. Like it's already like packaged. It's packaged all nice and everything. It's been drank out of." And he uh, and he said, uh, "I don't know what proof this is, though. Now I don't know if I believe him. I can't verify this, but he drank some of. It. He goes, mm, "That's a hundred proof." And I'm like, "No, no, no." There's no way, right? Don't y'all agree that he knows the proofs of just how I know no, he works there. He probably does. I know no, he I does, but man, how hard that would be. There's no way we could do that. Oh, we couldn't. No. No. But you I mean, you feel efficient on you're like, hey, that's 16 or that's 12 or that's 10. You do that. I can taste the cold Rocky Mountain stream out of this. Yeah. Say hi. Uh, what up? Happy New Year! You too! And who this? Who this? Who did? Pups. Hey, I gotta tell you, no seriously, you can't run away. Hold on. I gave you a lot of credit for being the smart one of this couple. And then when I saw that video where you're letting the boys ride the bicycle ramp and you're laying underneath the ramp and they're jumping a bike over you. Well, and man, I was like. Either myself or one of the younger cousins. So Why not Todd? Do what? Why you not Todd? You know how he is. He's got to get everything on camera. Girl, you literally laid underneath a bicycle ramp and let them jump you like evil can evil. I, I put the necessary body parts behind the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. That's a bad, bad idea. I couldn't believe you did it. It was hilarious. It was, but... I tell Todd, it doesn't seem scary until you watch the bike tire literally go on the ramp. <laughs> That's great. It, it, it's not the fact that it's a bike tire. It's the fact that it's a bike tire be, being driven by a six-year-old boy. Well, that too. That That's that's the scary part. But, well, know, who's the person dancing in the background? Huh? Who was the person dancing in the background? Listen, we just got, we got, we got, we got people, we got games. We've got, they bought the kids pie in the face. So we're about to do the pie in the face game. There's about six games. Man, we're gamers, dude. We play, not your kind of gamers, Andrew. Like, no, you're not on my level. Board, board. You're more Pac-Man. Yeah, so we, this, we got the group that plays board games, man. Like well, We're about to play some dominoes tonight, so don't get all ahead of yourself. Yeah. We're dominoing tonight, baby. What kind of domino? There's only one way to play dominoes. How do you play? 42. That's all right. We're going to play Moon. You ever play okay, Moon? Okay, well, Moon's fine. Dominoes? Moon's fine. But Moon's with three. No, you can play Moon with four. You play couples. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 that way. No, I'm a 42 guy. Like, I can play dominoes, but I'm a 42 guy all the way. I hear you. Plunge, low, high, like, follow me, all that. Like, I'm 42. Like, we've been playing it since I was a little kid. 
Dude, it started snowing up here. Andrew just drove down from Tulsa and like he thought he was gonna have to turn around and go back halfway here. Oh, I mean, it was bad. It was real bad. It, was sleet. it started sleeting and the temp was going like 33 to 35. Like it was nasty. We're getting down to 50, but hey, yeah. hey, and I might be stuck at Holman's all day tomorrow yeah. because we're under a winter storm warning. <laughs> But we got like the best college football of all time tomorrow yeah, TV, so we're not too worried about it. We got some black eyed peas. We got more food in that refrigerator than we could eat for a week. Well, I am supposed to be practicing tomorrow for the BFL on Saturday. Never gonna happen. I practice I practiced a couple of days ago one day. I'm good. A couple of days ago one day. So BFL is already starting. You're already starting your whole new season right now. On the second. This might be the earliest I've ever fished a tournament. We fished that one. Now that that Costa, that Costa, we were practicing during New Year's. The fourth it was the fourth, but we were practicing. Oh yeah, at Armstrong, we did do that. I'll right. practice. I didn't practice. I didn't practice either. I had, I had knee surgery, remember? So yeah. I didn't practice. I just showed up with fishing. I was in Port Aransas with my family for Christmas. Remember, I just drove over. I was skiing. I was skiing and drove back. When by the time we got back New Year's something, or no, on the third, I drove from like flew into Houston because that's where we were flew out of anyways, and I just. I had my boat left it at somewhere. I don't even, where did I leave my boat at? I don't even know where I left my boat or any of that. I don't even know what I did. I don't even, I, I left at my buddy Daryl's house. I, my buddy Daryl in like LaGrange, we went down there December 19th and practiced. And I left my boat at his house and then went by and picked it up on the way down there. I want to say that that was the first time I even ran my boat was the first day of the tournament. Like it was a brand new boat. That was the first day that I ran my boat was the first day of the tournament. That was a fun tournament. I caught them pretty decent. Todd rock star on day two. I caught a big bag on day two. I, mean, I think I ended up getting like 18th or yeah. something. We all had a good day. I caught, yeah. the, I caught the second biggest bag on day two. Yeah, I, I, just, I would have caught them on day one, but when I figured them out in practice, I caught them all day long. So I didn't think much about it. And when I pulled up to my, like I, I had a spot that I thought was better. But I had a giant area. I'm like, I catch them anywhere. And I, it took me like an hour to get to my spot, like where I thought it was really, really good. Yeah. And on day two, I rolled right to that spot, and it was freaking on. You know, for like 30 minutes, it was good. That was the tournament when the pan optics, that was before Lasco, but Garmin had the pan optics out. And I'd thrown out there, and we're, I'm throwing an A-rig, and my is throwing an A-rig, and we just pull up on this point. Like, we just pulled up on this towards the end of the day. And I'm, I'm winding my A-rig, and right when I'm winding, I look down at my graph, and when I look down, I'm like, there's an A-rig, and there are two giant blobs, dude, like right behind it. I'm like, oh, my God, they're right on my stuff. And so I kind of stop reeling for a second, and it doesn't sink. Like, my the rig doesn't sink. It just keeps coming. The blobs keep coming. And I look down at my trolling motor. It's pointed back the other way. It's on my conger stuff. I look back there at him, and I'm like, dude, there's two giants following your stuff. Oh, my God, one just went at it. And then I hear you go, ooh, I got one. Yeah, it was a seven and a half pounder. Yeah, seven and a half. Wow, dude, that was the very beginning of it, man. The, the, the best is having, like, so when all these new technology stuff coming out, that's pretty funny to have, like, there's nothing worse <laughs> Like, we don't care if a coingler catches a fish, right? But there's nothing worse than watching a coingler catch a fish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, dude, that, 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 happened, that happened to me at Hartwell on the final day. I had a kid with me that was a really good – he's a really good fisherman. And I, he's throwing a jerk bait behind me. And I, my troll motor had turned – like, it kind of turned to the right a little bit. And I see his jerk bait. He's jerking it hard. And he's got, like, 15 of them behind it. And I'm like, oh, crap. Like, and I'm, I'm looking over here where my bait is, there's nothing. And he's got the whole school on his jerk bait. And I was like, oh, man. And he's like, oh, I got one. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, I saw him eat it. I saw him eat it. Like, that's awesome. Crap. And, and, but then I had to tie him a jerk bait because, I mean, that's the cool thing about that technology is you realize what they're actually reacting to. There's certain baits that they, they won't react to. And you're like, oh, wait, they're eating a jerk bait or they're eating a A rig or whatever. And I didn't even use it at Amistad. I was actually cranking grass and, I did that on the second day because I was net rigging on the first day. I didn't even have my electronics dialed in. Like, literally, that was the first day I launched my boat. And just went fishing. I never use one. You never know. Yeah. Dude, Andrew looks sharp tonight. He's got, like, this really nice button yeah. up with the nice collar. Like, he showed up all clean and fresh. And yeah. He's ready to uh, celebrate the new year. Hey, we got to start 2021 a little bit better. That's not true. 2020 was a, a crap show. If there was ever a new year party to have, get rid of the year. It was I don't think anyone's upset that 2021 is coming. 
I'm so excited. And, and let's be honest, it's not really going to change anything, but maybe just mentally it might change some things and, and get us our, our minds back on track. Because what's going on isn't going to change. Like, that's all going to keep let me, let me ask you this. If you got, I don't want us to do it, but high-low high, we still do high-low high. Still do mm -hmm. high, -low high. If any of y'all don't know what high-low high is, high-low high is home is high-low high. And I'm not even gonna tell you. Go research. Go figure. Go find out where high low high is. We got a basting of therapy about it. Go find it. High low high is awesome. Our kids still to this day do it. Despite what we think about 2020, if we look back and go, think about where I'm going with this, guys. Y'all don't have to explain it, but I bet you all just smile and nod. Was 2020 really that bad for us? No. 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 Andrew, you learned a lot. I know, I'm you just pessimistic in this regard. We learned a lot about we learned a lot about the fishing industry in 2020. We did catch the COVID. We caught the COVID. Yeah, yeah, that's our low. Well, my, it wasn't bad for me. It wasn't bad for me. It's, COVID. It's kind of a cakewalk. Yeah, kind of a cakewalk for me. Oh, I never came clean really that he had the COVID. Yeah, but he, he, COVID. he had the COVID, and so did Holman. I don't know. We were in I the same. We were in the same room together for a week. We got on the same airplane, and flew to <laughs> each other every day. The problem was, is I got like, I didn't really run temperature. I got some. Your symptoms were different. I woke yes. up the next day, and I was just really sleepy. I was on vacation, and then, um, like I said, by day two and a half. I was down there on the beach hanging out going, man, I'm just really tired. So I just was sleeping on the beach a lot. So it really didn't affect me. Um, and I always go fishing every morning when I'm on the beach. Like every morning I wake up at five. It was hard for me to wake up at five. You know, me, you know, Holman knows that like- He I, doesn't sleep. Yeah, I can't, I don't like sleep. I never sleep. I'm so still I was like right. in until like seven. And I'm like, man, this is kind of nice. And then I realized, let, I, I still didn't believe I had it. I didn't believe I had it. I, by the time I got home, um, I went and got an antibody test, said I didn't have it. I mean, I was like working out, playing ball, like doing everything. Um, I went and got a test like a couple days later. So we're on like day nine and they said I was positive. I'm like, I don't believe those tests, which I've talked to my doctor. There's still a lot of tests that are false positives. Yeah. So I got sick the other day. I got sick uh, right before Christmas. And it, like uh, everything told me it was strep throat. Did my throat hurt and all this stuff? And, and I went into the doctor. I'm like, don't test me for that COVID. Like, he's like, oh, I'm not. We're going to test you for strep. Test me for strep. It was strep. It wasn't even a big deal, right? It didn't even bother me. But uh, my wife got it. <laughs> and when they got it, like, right before Thanksgiving, all the kids, every, like, the whole house has it. And I'm hanging around them like, I don't hug them. It don't bother me. <laughs> yeah, because you and Holman done had it. <laughs> Dude, and, and, and it was past the three months. And I'm like, well, we'll see what happens. And mm. no, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't, you know, I'm not saying I can't get it again, but I'm just saying like, it was yeah. four months past and I was around them. I mean, I didn't even care at that point. Holman called me the, the one morning, <laughs> not too long ago, a week or two ago, two weeks ago, and was like, dude, I'm going to get tested. I got, I think I got COVID again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I woke up the other night and had a temperature and stuff. Like, I was convinced I had it again, but I only got tested and I didn't. A weird deal. But, yeah, I mean, like, I was sick. And it was funny because I was going to take Kane and my wife to go get tested. And, and y'all came back negative. You, I huh? talked to you that y'all were bad sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I was sick for a week. Mm -hmm. I mean, longer than a week, week and a half probably. But, I mean, I never – I tested, I want to say, two times. I tested negative both times. I guarantee you if there's a dude in this country that can get it two or three times, it's me. That's how my luck rolls. I have no problem. I guarantee you. I don't you. want to – 2021 20, tomorrow, so maybe We not. know a guy. I'm not calling him out. I'll let him – I don't like to tell other people's business. He got it twice. And we – like, we all know him very well, like very well. And he was like, oh, I got it twice, buddy. And it was not good the second time. Wow. So – um yeah that's crazy but he's fine but yeah you're right dude 2020 was uh it was good for us it so was, when, you, when you look at youtube and you look at the success we've had on youtube and i mean you gotta it, it's kind of like college football home and i were talking about it earlier you kind of have to throw the college football season out the window to a certain degree there's always going to be this asterisk on the year yeah. and i'm going to say there's going to be an asterisk on fishing in 2020 because 
schedules changed, locations changed, everything changed. I mean, heck, you can't go to a store now without seeing half the store full of people with masks on or people freaking out about people with masks on. Oh, no. <laughs> I like how that big rolls. He's ready. Oh, yeah. Cup, New so Year's Eve. Our TX barrel fruit. Oh, you were. Hey, is that the 100 or what? This is the 127. Oh. 127. This is not like 127.5 oh, or anything, hey. is it? <laughs> Todd, come on, grow a pair. So, okay, so listen, y'all got to. So, uh. we go get him some eggnog, by the way. His name, like in my phone, I got to show you all this. <laughs> there's so much there's so much he has an on. epic beard by the way that is a good oh yeah song. yeah thank you i need a girl of mine like that so so tell <laughs> them real quick about what you do so i'm a distiller at tx whiskey so uh basically get to drink this every day which is amazing and uh, yeah. you know, i work with uh an awesome team and just try to perfect it yeah. every day yeah yeah, yeah. yeah okay yeah. do you make <laughs> whisk like he is the head like he's the guy who makes this stuff like like is in control over all the like i don't care about his team and all that dude he is making this stuff like this is awesome who, dude, who needs a team and i there's no i in team no there's no i there's no i in, in team it's him it's me like, <laughs> me like he's tasting this stuff going it's 100 proof but this is can y'all see that nope. no it's just bright light bright light no. won't work won't work no nope. it won't work I'm going to call it. Now what does it say? Oh, Whiskey Craig. Whiskey like, Craig. So, so. We, <laughs> He's so in hey, my phone's ringing. Yeah, yeah. So I literally have him in my phone as Whiskey Craig. And, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's that's the barrel proof. Oh, Holman had this stuff with me. Oh, yeah, Holman got in trouble. I, I'm the big bourbon lover. And Todd opened it. And, like, I just had a couple of glasses, man. And Todd's like, he walked by and he goes, damn, Holman, you going to drink like Oh, oh yeah! Dude, I just made a couple glasses. Look, dude, when I mix a drink, I'm stingy with my coat. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna pour a bourbon, I want a bourbon, and I'm real stingy with my coat. That's it. It's a splash. It's a, a lot of bourbon. A splash. A splash. Just a splash of bourbon splash or coat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 just a splash. Be stingy with it. Well, or just on the rocks. Yeah. No. No. This is the. the <laughs> basically, well, I just give it a little, little iced tea color. Color. You know? Yeah. Just well, color change. The barrel proof is the stuff. That's the stuff I told y'all that. That's the stuff I brought to the ho uh, no tell motel. Yeah. Oh, that was good stuff, dude. That was so that was the stuff that I was drinking that 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 you can drink straight. That's like I'm not that big of a straight drinker of whiskey. This stuff I I've not had this with anything other than just ice. So let's ask him like as a as a distiller a distiller and taster on a daily basis, how much whiskey do you think you consume throughout the day just sampling? Oh, not much. Uh, <laughs> we do. Uh, they don't of, sample every day. We do a like... lot of taste testing and sensory, but um, we do it through up so we can get make it through the day. <laughs> hey, we have a, we have a guest too, by the way. We'll bring him in a little bit. You didn't have to bring rings again, tonight, did you? Oh, so 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 I don't. So me and him, I don't know where we were, but where what is it? So I love calling him on my truck phone, okay? Because I, I put, so a couple of y'all I have on, I can only put so many people on speed dial or whatever, but I will never put him on speed dial, ever. No when offense. I call you. No offense, you will never be on my speed dial. Because I, when I go to my contacts, it, Siri asks, who, like, who would you like to call? And nothing's better than saying, Whiskey Craig. So like <laughs> Siri, like, so I just love calling Whiskey Craig. And then he calls me. Fat Todd and Whiskey Craig. Fat Todd. Yeah, so we go around going, hey, I'm Fat, I'm Fat Todd. And I'm Whiskey Craig. And what was our other? <laughs> the tail just rolls across. We're Fat Todd and Whiskey Craig. Craig. We have done this a little bit a couple times and we find we it funny. We need shirts. We do need shirts. We need shirts. So. Hey, we have a guest. Yes. This is Mr. Q Overton. Defensive tackle at the University of Oklahoma for the last five years. He had five rings on last night. If any of y'all saw my post, I, 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 I saw your post. Rings in a row. I've heard about this guy. I've heard of, not that I didn't know who he was, but I have to hear extra about it from Holman. 
This so. dude is ate up with bass fishing, dude. He loves fishing. He don't even care what really what species he catches. He just wants to catch fish. Do I have a bear in there? Yeah, that's that's a bear. Come here. Oh my. That's my killer dog. He's the one that lets five year olds ride him around the house. But he sounds mean, doesn't he? He sounds like a bear. Oh, he's not. He's Where's like... the picture? I was still on. <laughs> Are you still there? Yes. We're all still here. We're all just hanging out. This is great. Hey, so I got a question. I mean, like we, we are on New Year's Eve, obviously. And, and I know this is kind of like corny, but like, do you, do you have some goals for the new year? Like other besides uh, not like us stop sucking and fishing? Oh, and, Scott. Like, get better in YouTube, maybe. I don't know. Scott didn't put that on. You remember when we did that at Lay Lake? <laughs> And I totally ruined his whole segment. I don't, I don't set goals. <laughs> I don't set goals. You remember that? I can see Scott <laughs> going, this, thanks a lot, Todd. You just ruined this whole deal. Yeah, he was like, well, why don't you have goals? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, I, so, you can get it. Cool. So I don't, um, I've never set New Year's resolution. <laughs> Here's, here's my deal with New Year's. Dude, right. you like shot his whole thing, and then like after you left, he's like, well, I don't know about Todd because he just doesn't make goals, but whatever. <laughs> and you yeah. just went off on him about, well, I don't have goals, dude. It's not how I live my life. I don't, I don't set goals. So I, I, I have zero. I, I'll never make a New Year's resolution ever in my life. Well, maybe this is your start. No, no. Here's my reason why. Oh, God, here we go. I've never met someone who didn't like it. Why should I wait to the 1st of January to change something I want to change? What did, what have you changed then? It, well, if I want to change something and it's December 21st, I'm going to change it on December 21st. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not waiting to a day to change something. I think if someone wants to change something, the like change it right then and there. Like don't Why don't you just have an epiphany, Todd? Then I'll change it that day, unless something well, hey, happens. Maybe it's today then. Okay. Well, as of right now, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Maybe you like, should I'm, start like, drinking your TX whiskey with Coke. Or, oh no, no, no! Ice. That's I'm not changing. No, it's I. It's ice. And if I do mix it, it's with Seven Up, and I'll drink just the 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 bourbon, the regular stuff. It, he he drinks just the bourbon out of the Seven Up. He has it. It sections off. Dude. This is Whiskey Craig. This is Whiskey Castle Craig. and I we travel with. And then the guy with the beautiful, gorgeous beard, which Q's kind of like following in place there, trying to get the same. Yeah, he, he's a, a distiller for TX Whiskey. He gets paid to drink whiskey every day. That's a pretty good job. Isn't it? Like, there's not a lot of people that I find their jobs interesting. I got to be honest. I like, I, I find his job. And then he tried to explain some stuff to me, and I, I almost kind of quit listening because it was – it was actually a lot more complicated. I mean, they're getting, they're like out there picking corn from certain places that grow at certain, I mean, it, like it's, cause the corn, oh, let me get this right. Corn is the, um, corn is the bourbon, wheat is the whiskey. No, no, no. So Dang it. <laughs> bourbon just has to be 51% corn. And then you can have any other grain you want in there. It can be wheat, rye, barley. So tell us the difference between bourbon and whiskey. Is that what you bourbon and whiskey? The difference between the two? Right. It just, every, it's just, every, it had, I thought it had to be like made in Kentucky or something. No, that's a no. It can be made anywhere. It just everything's a whiskey. So you have Irish whiskeys, bourbon whiskeys, Canadian whiskeys. Everything is a branch off of whiskey. Bourbon just has to be in a new oak barrel and at least fifty-one percent corn and aged at least two years. So here's what you'll find interesting. There's a reason. So we all know what would you expect is the, the main whiskey? What it, you, you already said it. What is it? For, from where? Kentucky. Kentucky. Okay. So explain why it's not, there's a reason for that. Just like Texas is pretty good too, but I'll let him explain it. What's your question? You, why do they <laughs> well, make no, What I had always heard was the, the term bourbon had to come from, not whiskey, but the term bourbon had to come from that Kentucky area. It's like Jack Daniels is whiskey. It's but there's a reason. Right. So bourbon, obviously, it originated in Kentucky with using like the limestone filtered water and everything. But you can actually make bourbon anywhere else. But it's but good with the weather. The weather. Oh, so the weather That's and the limestone water. Yep. Really? Well, 
West, West and Central Texas is nothing but limestone, isn't it? I don't know. But so <laughs> explain the weather deal about why, why, what ages it and stuff like that. So when you get, put the, you know, make the white dog, comes off the column, goes in a barrel, we age ours for at least four years. Um, when you get the, uh, the hot and cold temperatures ranging here in Texas, it obviously it goes up and down all year round. So that it, it expands the, the bourbon in the barrel into the wood and then extracts it in and pushes it out, giving it the color and flavor from that oak barrel that's charred on the inside. So right. the more the temperature fluctuates, the more color you're going to get, the more flavor you're going to get. So in, in Texas, it actually ages a lot quicker than Kentucky. Makes sense. What are you look What are you looking at, Andrew? Oh, there's there's a bunch of people at the door. Yeah, they're kind of like coming and going. Yeah. Okay. The banquet has started. Yeah, we our banquet has officially started. I'll tell you what I think is funny is that I'm sitting in this chair and I got Q and this, he's like in the recliner. And just in the video, I look really big. Dude, he does not look big. big. He does not look big, but I know better. I want to he's ask so you. Right he's he's got this house. He's yeah. gotten uh, he's gotten some uh they got some love, man. Like they got some love for their little for for the last, you know, like they're not a lot of people aren't too happy with uh the way all this worked out. They what should are you be talking happy. about what are their last about? game. Oh, last night, yeah. Hey, dude, listen, Gator Tail, we were enjoying all night tonight for New Year's Eve. We were eating well, Gator I'm Tail all night. Gator man. Tail, I've got barbecue Gator Tail, smoked Gator Tail, fried Gator Tail. He's like horse filling all up and, and if anything's bone, I just give it to the dog. Dogs even enjoying Gator Tail tonight. Well, I'm just telling you, there's a lot of people that think they should have should have not been playing that game, that they should be playing another game. Well, yeah, but that we that don't feel that way. We, we, we got, you know, we got our two losses this year, and you know, we took them, and it's COVID, and look, it's part of it. And so, good end of the year, but uh, we got 2021 scheduled on the calendar. Let's. Uh, let's I, 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 would, I would actually say the Cotton Bowl was probably the best matchup besides the playoff games out there. Like it's not even close. I mean, so I mean, it was that was a very highly anticipated game. I don't care who was playing, who wasn't playing. That's the problem with college football. Oh, Oklahoma is you know, straight out. Yeah. Not on the play. My thing is, I think you can't count on four people. Like, just because four players didn't play, that's not going to win. Break yeah. or win a, a team. Yeah. But I mean, like last year when y'all played LSU, you yeah. had a lot of guys out, yeah. right? Yeah. But I mean, it had an impact on the game. Oh, yeah, right? most definitely. It has an impact. I mean, and that, like when Ohio State played Northwestern the other day in the Big Ten Championship, they had 22 players out for COVID. I mean, and that's like 22 when you talk. It's not necessarily always the starters. It's the backups and, like, the people right. who cycle in on defense and stuff. I mean, it makes a big difference. So, and like I said before, there's going to be an asterisk on college football. There's going to be an asterisk on fishing. Everything was really weird this mm -hmm. year. And, I mean, it's just what it is. I mean, it's just, you know, the reality <laughs> we're living. There's an asterisk unless you win. No, yeah. there's still an asterisk. I'm sorry. No, there, there ain't. ain't. The trophy's still standing there. There ain't, there ain't no asterisk on that trophy. The trophy's still there, on the mantle. There ain't no asterisk on that trophy. There ain't no asterisk on that check. That's right. That's the right. The check is the main thing. That's right. Let's be honest. Like, the trophy's like, that's going to collect dust. That check's going to make a difference. They both so, make a difference. Ask man. Coleman which one he wants. I want the trophy. I want the check. <laughs> I want the, I want yeah, the money. Trophy. Yeah, uh, Holman wants that color behind him right there. That's what he wants. Look yeah, behind blue, him. Blue trophy. Yeah, I don't want that blue trophy. I do. I don't want that, dude. Just let me in the door. I think I can win one. We'll get there. All well, right. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to win them. Then whatever it don't matter to me. The eagle, the eagle head trophies. You're going after the eagle head, or, or one of the ones with a black bass on it that's kind of sideways. You don't care, do you? No, nah, man. Trophy's trophy to me. How many BFL trophies do you have? Wins like you got a bunch of them stacked up. You like Jason Christie? I don't, I, don't, uh, I got three. Three. Yeah. That's much. I hadn't fished. I, I, I only fished two years of the BFLs all the way through. Um, for what it's hard scheduling. I, I won Angler of the Year on the first one, and then I came in second <laughs> the second time I fished it. Andrew won Angler of the Year, right? Yeah, the only time I fished the whole series, and I just yeah. never fished the whole series after that. 
Yeah. I stopped fishing the whole series. I only got fishing for like 15 yeah. years, and I never had a chance in hell winning once ever. Like, I said I've been a couple times with lag winning last term, and I always were like finishing 130. Like it's yeah, I've only fished two series. I remember because it was between you and Steven Johnston. Yeah, I mean, that was the year that, like, McCall fished it. Oh, everybody was fishing. That was the Louisiana-Texas division. Yeah, I didn't have that thing. I, I made a top 10 on the cool. on the final event. But I knew it was a big deal because y'all were battling out for angler of the year. Oh yeah, and that was the year that FLW decided not to to give you a check for winning angler of the year or anything. I got a jacket. I got this like super cool jacket set. I won points. So after that, every year after that, they like won like a like their entry fees for the next year no, 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 or whatever. No, no, no. Let me tell you the worst thing ever. This is it. The Coastal Series, EverStart Series, whatever they the Toyota Series now. FLWs, whatever. So it was everyone, every time you won Angler of the Year, you were going to the Cup. Yeah. And then the year I won it the first time, it was, I think I might have won 5,000 bucks. But I was like, dude, I, like, what? Going to the Cup, you win an automatic 10. Oh, yeah. So I was pissed. And so I didn't get that. And then that was in 2011. And then I think t they might have gone the same, done at the same time, 12, 13, I can't remember the years. It went back to the cup. And then I wanted to get in like 14 or 15. And don't you do it. And, and then it went back. Yeah. Well, they're trying to do stuff to me. And so then it went back to, no, it went back to like money again and not the cup. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. And that lasted for like a year or two. Then it went back to the cup. And then I won it again. And it went back to like money. No, it wasn't even money this time. It was, it was uh, deposits. Oh, well, deposits. That's what it was. Yeah. Which was like, not even like three thousand dollars. But I was like, I literally missed out. They like they would go to the cup, and I missed out on every one of those angler of the years, like going to the cup. Yeah. Dude, like, I remember when the opens. I remember when the opens. If you want, if you want angler of the year in any division in three divisions. Your entry fees were paid to the Elite Series, and the Elite Series entry fees were fifty-five thousand dollars, man. When was that? Fifty-five grand, and you got them paid. When I qualified in two thousand nine, I went into the last event in first, but I don't think that was the case. I don't think that was the case then. No, you would have jumped all over that. I remember when, when Remix qualified. That's what the deal was. So that would have been two thousand seven. Seven, yeah. So everything was paid for. Think about this. Everything was paid for. Then he turned around first. We'll turn around. He wins hundred grand. Awesome. Then he rolled off to California. He finished his second, fifty grand. And no, all no, stuff no, no, paid for. That boy was rolling. Oh, it was. Amsteady won, and then the Delta he came in second. Yep. Mm -hmm. I know. Was it Delta? The Delta. Oh, it was California Delta. Delta. It was Delta. Okay. Look at Todd with some history, because you know me, I'm not very good. I'm not the history buff. Hey, there was about the time you and I met, isn't it, dude? Isn't that about when you and I met? Right around in there. No, way before that. It was. It was no, a. Couple, dude, I met you in two thousand six. I think. Well, yeah, that's yeah, a couple years earlier. Oh, no. oh, well, okay. Remus seven. did that in 07, so that would be okay. about the time we met. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, so I had some comments on the no-tell motel. One guy was like, "Holman's way off on his timeline," I, but some other guys said that they were wrong. That I think they said nineteen. I think you said 19. Oh, yeah, I saw that. So I said like 1914 and some guy, or I said 1920 and some guy goes, he's way off of his time. No, you said 1920. Then you corrected yourself and got lower, closer to the date. But then the guy, but the guy said he missed it by six years. It was like 1914, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but you changed it. But you changed it and got closer. But then the, but then it was building the dam. And I'm like, well, building the dam and damming it up might be a little bit different things. So, yeah, like when it was completed. And well, I'm just saying, no matter, no matter when it was, yeah. like that is very early. It's like most lakes that we go across the country, even old ones were built in yeah, the 40s or 50s. Yeah. This is YouTube, Holman, and you got guys out there, and you can't make a mistake, ever. You can't wear a hat backwards. You can't make a mistake. You you can't, like, do anything. He does have his hat on straight tonight. No, I did it just for all you YouTubers out there that – that Craig, don't Craig, get when Craig, I'm get not grown up. They're gonna be busting your chops, uh, Craig, yeah. or your flat. And, and probably, and probably your beard is probably two inches too long. So no, no, mine's, mine's kind of flat. This one's a little bit. You kind of remind me of Jacob Wheeler to a certain level. Who? You know, like you're almost. Me. Which one? 
You, I think yours, uh, Todd, yours is more Jacob Wheeler-ish. Who has that, though? <laughs> That's pretty good. Dude, that's legit. Like, that's like legit. look at it. He's like, man, I got to aspire to that. But you see, you don't have to. <laughs> he was just saying. He was like, dude, I, I think I can. I, I'm like, he's got a while on the beard, though. He's got a while on the beard. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> getting it fluffed but, up. Like, he's going to have to grow the front end. Like, you're going to have to get, like, you're going to have just, to go. I just took about three yeah, four sure. inches off of this. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. He's still young. I've got a long time to grow. Come here, buddy. Come here. Christmas. Go, I go say hi. You know all them. Who is everyone? Still act like I'm young. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Who is What's that? Up, buddy? Who's that? Um, yeah, you. you <laughs> that's Bradley. That's Bradley or Hallman. And that's Andrew. You know them. You talk to them on the phone all the time. He does. Get a shot on camera. That's what those kids do. You saw my kid deer in the headlights. Flash the camera to him. He's like. These are the guys I fish with. You know that. Yeah. 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 All right. Get on out of here. <laughs> Y'all are going to do a smile. Get on, out of here. get on out of here. We uh, we got a bunch of people coming over tonight. I mean, I say a bunch. Q and his family, Andrew and his family, and then uh, another guy that my wife went to law school with. I think him and his children are coming over. So, uh, How much money would you some balls for having too many people over on New Year's, but dude. Like and that's another comment. That's number four on the list We're of, all of comments. All the line, like, oh, the COVID? Well, because we have too many people at our party. Too many people. But I can tell you this. My wife has been vaccinated, and I have been tested recently. And so – and I have quarantined for 14 days. So I think it's it's perfectly okay that I'm here. I called Andrew today, and I said, hey, man, I said, another couple's probably coming over now. Are you all okay with that? And he said, yeah, we're perfectly fine. As long as everybody gets pre-tested, brings their test screening to the party, has to quarantine 14 days prior or before, and um, everybody's wearing masks. Everybody's I'm, wearing masks. That's the response I was looking for. I'm going to give you the reason why I don't care. There it is. When okay. was the last time you wore a mask? I just, I'm asking. I, 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 okay. with me and we both got sick. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the only time, listen to this. This is crazy. The only time I've ever worn a mask for longer than five minutes was <laughs> was going on the airport on the airplane to uh florida to scott's when we did all that the only time i've ever like literally wore the mask the whole time it's the only time i've gotten it other than that i've never worn one until well, yes that's when you got it that is really that's the only time yes. you wore a mask is when you got covid that's perfect. yes it's the only time i ever got the covid was when i wore the mask like i was supposed to i wore it the other day we went so, down I Dude, I don't mean to interrupt, but I got a question. It's important to COVID. So when you're like Craig, that beard, how do you wear a mask, bro? How you can you can't wear a medical mask. Do you do, you do the bandana? What do you do? I wear a mask at work, but it, it ruins the beard. It gives me like a double chin in the beard. I see it. Yeah. It see? Oh that. Yeah. It does. That's what Q said. He has the same problem because his is long too, not not as long as Craig, but he's grown. He's going for it. Keep going for it. Yeah, I have to wear one at work, but it, you know, I have COVID. So, so what does it do? Is it just like put a little? I can see it in there, like you got a. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. it. Yeah. My hair actually is like it's like a little indention there. Oh. Yeah. I thought he was about to lie. Well, I saw some of the guys the other day that had one like down to here, and he was using the the bandana. Bandana. You know, so the bandana would kind of you know how they triangle off, and that way it didn't cut into his beard. You know. It's a good idea. I need to do I that. I swear I thought you were lighting his beard on fire. I don't know why, but it looked like you're just like eh, Christmas tree lighting his beard on fire. <laughs> I got I so yeah, I wore a mask yesterday. We went down to Houston and uh went to a uh, the American Ninja Warrior place for Michaela's birthday, which she had a blast. So we did that and then um and so I had to wear a mask in there because down in like uh, you know, city folks. And uh, So you got COVID again. I might. I might. Have you had COVID, Q? No. No? I'm super safe. I haven't had COVID. I've been masking it up. I've been like... I, probably, I work at one of the like largest companies in the world, and like 200 people, and I still have not gotten COVID. Y'all wear a mask at work, too? Yeah. I work at Amazon, and we literally have to wear a mask, but I've never gotten COVID. There's people that gotten COVID in there, but I've not gotten COVID yet. I've worked there since... September. How old are you? 
24. He's an old man, dude. 24, <laughs> football yeah. player. He yeah. probably had it and probably slept through it. He probably it. just beat it. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, probably ate it. He's like, my back hurts hey, a little bit. He, <laughs> he's, like, uh, he's like Chuck Norris. Uh, what's your name? What's your full name? Marquez Overton. Yeah, Marquez. he's like, <laughs> Marquez Overton didn't have COVID. COVID had Marquez Overton. <laughs> <laughs> COVID ca caught him. Guys, dude, seriously, this dude has got – so he, he played at the University of Oklahoma. He was there for five years between red shirt and all that. He's got five in a row of Big 12 championship rings. And so I was asking about him last night, and he played high school football in Oklahoma, too. He's up at Jeans. I said, how many – that's a 6A school, which is the biggest school in Oklahoma, 6A. I said, how many state championships you got in football? And he's like, three. Oh, three. So he's got five Big 12 championship rings, three high school state championship rings in front of him, and then he's got a high school state championship ring for 6A uh, wrestling championship as well. That's crazy. So, so I wanna, That's awesome. So let me, let me get this straight. So in your, where are you from? Oklahoma? Jinx. So, yeah. so, yeah. where, so where's your boundaries at Oklahoma? Boundary. Yeah, like where? What do you claim is Oklahoma? Like the 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 actual line of Oklahoma or is Dallas now Oklahoma? Dallas is Dallas. That's what I keep telling him is that from Dallas up, the sooner we've earned that shit. Oh yeah, we own Baja, Oklahoma. Yeah, we we own we own half of Texas. That's right. <laughs> Dude, I mean, so many people from Texas. Like, I don't really care. So, like, there's going to be some guys from Texas. Like, Holman is doing his best to, like, just piss off everyone from Texas. Dude, we don't know where you live. You're south of Dallas. We don't own East Texas. We don't. That's true. They, they've just played Texas at, at but like, with Dallas. The Bass, with the Bassmaster Classics going down, yeah. uh, we start taxes starting tomorrow, January 1st, collecting Oklahoma. We're collecting taxes up there. We as soon as we learn that stuff. We play the Red River rivalry every year. This, this boy and his boys, we we done we done got it. Yes, sir. See, he ain't, he ain't lying. Yeah. <laughs> Cabo, Cabo, uh, Oklahoma. Yeah. That yeah. river don't run. No, what is it? Cabo, what, is it? what do you call it? Baja. Baja. Baja, Oklahoma. Baja, Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we're gonna have a good time tonight. We got a lot of people here. I don't want to keep y'all, but dude, I wanted to do BAT tonight because uh, it's been a great year. I've enjoyed working with you and uh, Andrew greatly. Um, all the stuff that we do together, um, I would not have been anywhere even remotely, even close to being successful if it wasn't for you two. And um, I really appreciate everything both of y'all have done for me this year. I've never even dreamed to have this success and the feedback that we've gotten from YouTube, and yeah. it's, it's primarily because of YouTube, man. And I, I do really, really, really greatly appreciate both of y'all. I did a podcast today, and the guy asked me a question. He's like, hey, so when y'all started this, uh, y'all's reality show this year, is what he called it. He's like, all of us. And I'm like, well, look, Scott, Scott might have been smart enough to foresee the future. I can speak for all three of us, right? We had no idea what we were – like, we had no clue. I said, dude, yeah. we started YouTube – months before that, but we really didn't even know at the first tournament we all got together. And I said, trust me, we, it was like a, you could call it a reality show. We had no idea. And all of a sudden it started growing. And I said, none of us planned this where we're at now, but now, now that we've done it, we're like, okay, we know where we're going now. Like it was so, I know everyone's, listen, I don't know how we're going to do it, but everyone was, disappointed because they're like man how long are we gonna have to wait for another bass singer therapy so they're gonna get a they're gonna get a, a, a one they they definitely want a weekly podcast i don't know how we're gonna do this we're gonna have to talk about this guys because i you know but there's some well let, need, like comment guys let us know do y'all yeah, like, is, is the zoom okay because if we can do the zoom we're down like yeah, if we can so do the zoom meeting like this where we're not together uh we can still have a whiskey and a beer we can sit down in the evenings and still do our show yeah, like, I don't know. We'll see how many guys listen all the way through because we're probably close to being done. But, yeah, um, let us know if this is what we need to do. Uh, if we can do this, if everyone's cool with this, we'll keep doing it. So. Yeah. Hey, Craig, do you think there's room for a guy with a job that can, like, if bass fishing kind of tanks in the next year or two, can I come down and taste whiskey for a living? Oh, definitely. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you. Nice you hey, hey, now uh, now Billy and Hallman and Craig are all going to be best friends. So they're the three best friends. Yeah, 
anyone's ever had. <laughs> yeah, anyone's ever had. <laughs> All right. Y'all have fun tonight, man. Enjoy the – Y'all be safe. Okay. Happy New Year's. We'll see you on the other side. All right. See y'all, guys. See ya. All right.